morning guys welcome back to another vlog i feel like it's been such a long time since i've done a vlog and hopefully this is kind of a vlog but i just wanted to come here just to say hi and to show you my very not cute hair because today i'm finally going to get my hair done which i'm so excited about i was able to get an early appointment because it was meant to be on the 15th of december um and they like contacted me and they were like we have an available spot today so i was like okay i'll come past so yeah it is 9 23 right now so my appointment is in an hour so i want to go into the city and maybe buy some croissants to bring to the girls at the salon i always go to vg salon you guys know that so i'm gonna bring you guys along with me for this hair transformation hopefully i don't really know what i want to do with my hair but i'm sure that i want to cut it off because like look at like look at this okay and my hair looks really not cute right now because in may i got these extensions put in and because i've left them on for so long um they were getting a little bit uncomfortable for me and they shouldn't be because you're meant to move them up every i think three or four months but obviously um <laughs> i just left it for way too long and then lockdown happened and all that and i've been doing something that i shouldn't be doing and that is trying to remove the extensions myself i do not recommend that but because i don't know i was just paranoid that it was tugging at my actual hair so slowly like every day i would take out like one or two extensions and then over time my hair just looks so weird and wispy like at the bottom because anyway my plan is to cut it like this short maybe i know it's quite short and i haven't had short hair for a very very long time but it's also because i don't want to put in the extensions i love them when they were in but you know i just i just you know i'll just save them for now i have like a bag of hair which sounds very weird in my bag it's the extensions that i've been like taking out myself over like the last few months but okay um, Alright, <laughs> I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I'm on my way to Lynn Croissant right now and I hope I left enough time because I have about half an hour but there doesn't seem to be a line in front of Loon which is good. I guess it's like a Tuesday morning as well so no one's really gonna line up so we're gonna buy some croissants. Let's go. So I got my croissants and I'm wearing my Pada MX1s by the way. I haven't really shown you guys a proper unboxing so I think I'll do that later in this vlog. But I'm so happy I got my croissants so I got them all in a box and this one in the bag is mine. I just got a ham and cheese croissant for my breakfast. I want to show you guys what my hair looks like before so this part is the extension but as i mentioned i was like pulling them out so it looks a bit weird look at my roots look at this what is this so yeah i think we're gonna cut it but for now we're gonna take off all the extensions and this is bella guys she's the best <laughs> so i look a little crazy right now but we're bleaching my roots which is probably kind of the <laughs> uncomfortable part but i feel okay um, but I'll definitely show you guys how my hair turns out later. We haven't decided on the length, so we'll see after we're done coloring it. So yeah, I'm very excited to see my new hair. So just ignore the color because we just did the bleach, so it's very yellow. But look, I cut my hair. It's so short. It's not as short as I thought it would be. I'm so happy. So yeah, I think we're gonna do the rest of the color. And then yeah. This feels so weird. Guys, look at my hair. <laughs> it feels so weird because my hair is so short, but I'm so, so happy with my hair color. I'll show you guys a bit better later, but it is now six o'clock, so it took pretty much all day to get my hair done. But I need to head to Uniqlo quickly because I want to pick up this linen shirt. I already have that in an orange colorway, but I want to get the brown. And I think the store's close in an hour, so I need to go quickly and uh yeah i think i might grab some food with beatrice later today so of course i'm gonna show you guys but yeah we need to head to uniqlo first before they close because i hate being that last minute shopper and okay 
stop talking <laughs> I need to go now so you guys know that I have this shirt and I really like it it's quite an oversized fit so I wear it in a size small it's women's but I reckon it's like a unisex kind of cut I was deciding if I should get the green but I'm really here for the brown colorway because I have the same matching pants and I have this look in mind that I want to put a fit together with these Prada MX ones. So yeah, I'm gonna get this today. You guys, look, it looks so pretty here. They have the Christmas decor up. So this is just a GPO, you guys know. This is my go-to sports when I want to take photos. But look at all the Christmas trees. It's so pretty. So we're at this place called Sinjon Korean Street Food and we got a cheese kimbap fried chicken and then over there is the fried Korean snacks as well as some pokki. This one here is the rose one so I think it's in a creamy kind of sauce and obviously there's cheese on top as well. So I just got home and I thought I'll show you guys the final outcome of my hair. I feel like I didn't show you guys properly before because I kind of rushed out <laughs> of the salon because I needed to go to Uniqlo and then I ended up having dinner with Beatrice because I needed some help to take a photo. But yeah, this is what my hair looks like and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I love the color so much. I'm still getting used to the length of my hair and I almost feel like I look a little bit like Hiroshi. Do you guys know what I mean? Like there are certain photos of Hiroshi with like a gray bob and if I wear like a pair of glasses with like dark frames, I will look like a female version <laughs> of Hiroshi. But I don't think that's a bad thing and I think Bella did such an amazing job. You guys know that I always, always go to Vigri Salon. I highly, highly recommend them. So I'll link them down below if you guys are in Melbourne and you need a place to get your hair done. You have to go to them, just trust me. Um, but yeah, that took quite a while as usual. But yeah, super, super happy and so grateful for Bella for doing my hair. And also super grateful that I was able to get an early appointment because my initial appointment was booked for the 15th of December. And I just really couldn't deal with my hair. So yeah, I'm so back. I'm so back. <laughs> I'm so glad to be back to this hair color you guys know before my hair was always this silver and then i had that whole thing where i went to another salon in malaysia and they really messed up my hair and that is why it kept breaking and because of that i had my like hair disaster kind of i don't know whether you guys noticed that anyway i feel like my face probably looks very shiny because it was such a warm day today and yeah i'm so glad to be home it is now 10 52 so it is almost 11 o'clock and i need to take a shower and go to bed but i thought i'll quickly just come here to show you guys what my hair looks like as it is straight out of the salon because just in case i sleep a bit weird tomorrow and i make it look not as cute and i don't know how to style it so yeah i'm so happy with how it turned out um i'm gonna continue the vlog on tomorrow i do have quite a few things to unbox that i want to share with you guys they've been sitting in my apartment for quite a while now but because i haven't really vlogged or done a proper unboxing they are still sitting in their boxes so i'll get to that tomorrow but it's getting late now so i am going to go to bed and i will see you guys tomorrow Good morning guys, so it is the next day obviously, I think my hair looks a little bit straighter, like it's not as curled in as yesterday, but I'm still getting used to it. This morning I woke up and I'm like, <laughs> who is that? <laughs> when I saw myself in the mirror. Um, but yeah, anyway, I thought I'll sit down to quickly do a quick unboxing. So I actually picked up just one item from the Tiffany Supreme collab. They released it at the Sydney Tiffany & Co store. They didn't have it in Melbourne. And I was just super lucky because my friend managed to get the earrings. I think he had already sold them to someone, but then that person decided that they didn't want them. And I really just wanted the earrings. So yeah, I thought I'd quickly show you guys. I love that there's the Supreme branding on the box as well as on the little pouch. And the retail was a little bit expensive. It was 500 Australian dollars. 
and yeah but I mean I really wanted them and it's Tiffany & Co and it's definitely something that I would wear so I don't know whether this is me trying to justify um, the price of it but hopefully you guys can see and it's in focus it's just the classic like Tiffany heart earrings but it says return to supreme is it even focusing maybe it's too close but yeah i'm sure you guys kind of know what it looks like so yeah it's really cute and i've been wearing it a lot i usually just wear the one side so i usually wear it on my right ear because i don't know i tend to like wearing like mismatched earrings so i'm actually gonna put it on because I'm gonna wear it today I have a meeting at like 10 a.m. so I still have some time it's 8 36 now so I thought I'll quickly sit down to do a little unboxing and also show you guys my new earrings and then let me put this away the other thing that I wanted to show you guys is I picked up the Pada Amex ones I wore them yesterday but I never really well, I haven't <laughs> sat down to do a proper unboxing. I got them from KC Kicks. I've purchased from them before and would highly recommend them. So you guys can check them out if you're based in Australia. I don't know whether they do international shipping just yet. Um, but I've always had a really good experience with them. I know with like Instagram like sneaker reselling there's so many of them and i for one am always afraid that i'm gonna get scammed but this is definitely like a store that i trust so yeah you guys can check them out they usually have a lot of good bay sizes as well if you guys are looking for smaller sizes also they gave me these shoe shields and i've never tried these before i always get asked questions if i have like shoe shields shoe shields <laughs> in my sneakers but i i never use them so it'll be interesting to try them out i think some of my sneakers just don't look very creased because i haven't really worn them that much i think i posted a photo in my off-white fours and someone was like how do you keep them from creasing and it's really because i haven't worn them that much and also speaking of like off-white i'm sure you guys all feel the same about virgil passing away i am still like so in shock and like it's been a few days now and I haven't really spoken about it because I'm still like processing it. I'm just completely lost for words and I'm not very good when it comes to like things like that. I just don't know what to say because like I have so much to say but ah, I don't know. Ah, it makes really weird and awkward right now. But yeah, Virgil was such an incredible creative, visionary and... He's done so much for streetwear, luxury fashion, as well as the sneaker culture. So it's crazy to think that he's passed away so suddenly. And it's just so strange to me that he's no longer here. And um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that quickly. And I just, I just don't know what to say. Like, how? Like, to me, I'm just, I'm still trying to process it this whole time. Back to these Pada MX ones. I didn't mean to bring down the mood. Um, I really wanted to show you guys these sneakers um, Also, they came with this like bracelet. I'm sure you guys know what it looks like So in my Instagram photo that I posted I wore it as an anklet and I feel like it looks quite cute, right? I love the like swoosh on oh my gosh, what am I trying to do? <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you guys know what the bracelet looks like. I think it's very very cute and I just love these sneakers. So you know that Pada has done several collabs with um, Nike. And you know, I think the Cherrywood one is probably the best. Or maybe the Chlorophyll. I don't have any of their earlier collabs. But when I saw these, they definitely grew on me. Right now they have them in, I think, two other colorways they released this year. The black one is releasing soon. I actually do have the blue pair as well, which was gifted to me by one of my amazing subscribers. I'll show you guys that later. Um, 
but I thought I'd just talk about this for now. So this is the Monarch colorway, and obviously you guys can see they've reimagined the Mod Guard in this like wavy kind of pattern, which I think looks super super cool. I think the color combinations on point. Out of all the colors that they've released, I think this is definitely my favorite. And the more I look at them, like like photos of them on feet and like people putting fits together the more I feel that like you guys just need to get a pair if you haven't already gotten a pair please get yourself a pair I think this is definitely one of my favorite pickups this year there's just something about the simplicity of this design and the colorway that just makes it like just it's just so good so I highly recommend it I've also swapped out the laces and used the cream one so when you get it fresh out of the box they come laced with these gray laces but I think the cream laces definitely look better in my opinion and also in terms of branding I love that on the insole you can see it says Pada sorry this is not very professional b-roll and also on the tongue tag you can see that is the Pada branding as well and I absolutely love these sneakers I should probably have like sprayed it with some sort of protective spray because you can see the upper has like this really nice new bulk so here in the gray as well as this like warm rusty orange brown color and also there is the mini swoosh here with this particular material I feel like it would be best to spray it with some protector like sneaker protector before you wear it um I didn't I usually do but for some reason I was just like really keen on wearing this the day that I took them out of the box so I just put them on feet and um yeah I think I may have like made it a little dirty here on the toe look at this I don't know how to clean it I'll figure it out but I don't know what happened there I'm usually like pretty careful with my sneakers but yeah I'm a little bit sad about this but overall I think this is such a great sneaker obviously I've worn them already but yeah I just quickly wanted to show you guys these because yeah if you haven't already gotten a pair what are you doing? This is what I was asking myself when I didn't get it when they initially released. I was asking myself like, what am I doing? <laughs> As always, I'll make sure to link everything down below if you guys are interested in picking them up. But for now, I need to get changed. Well, I'm pretty much changed. I'm still wearing my pajama pants, but I'm changed like <laughs> the top half of me. And I need to head to a meeting. And yeah, I'll come back later today to continue my unboxing because I do still want to show you guys some other sneakers. There's actually so many sneakers that I haven't unboxed and I'm sure you guys can see behind me here, there are some. But I've already shown you guys what those are. It's the Mummy Dunks and then I'm not sure, I can't remember. There's just sneakers everywhere in my apartment and sometimes I just think to myself like, why am I so messy? <laughs> <laughs> I need to head out soon, so um, yeah, like I said, I'll continue the unboxing later, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I just had my meeting, and it went really well, and then I ended up going past this place called Raya. I've heard about this from my friend. It's like a little bakery place and because I was around the area I thought I'll hit it up and there were so many things I wanted to try. I'll show you guys later but I refrained myself so I only ended up getting the ube pie as well as a cookie. So I'm gonna head home now and then we're gonna do a little taste test and then we can continue on with our unboxing because yeah, the more I think about it, there's actually so many things that I want to show you guys. So anyway, we'll go home for now and I'll see you guys soon. So I just got home and I wanted to show you guys what I got. So this is the ube pie and I think there's condensed milk as well and it started like <laughs> leaking from the box a little bit. So I'm very, very excited to try this. And then I also got this cookie and they recommended me to put it in the oven for a few minutes. So that is what I'm going to do. But let's do a quick taste test of this it's definitely very taro-y like ube ube is taro right um but yeah it tastes really good guys mm. 
They had so many different types of cakes and cookies at that bakery or little cafe and I really refrained myself from like buying everything because I'm usually that person that goes to somewhere and I'm like I want one of everything but I know if I do that <laughs> I'm gonna eat all of it today so that is why I only got a pie I was just gonna get the pie at first and I saw the cookies and I thought the cheese one sounded really interesting so I got that as well and then I also wanted to show you guys give me one sec while my cookie is heating up, I wanted to quickly show you guys something. So this box is obviously not very cute. The box is actually empty right now because in there was my course human made tote bag. I'm so happy that I got this. So they released this on the course, not the course, the human made site a while ago and they don't actually ship to Australia. So I actually got my friend to get this for me and then shipped to Hong Kong because it was only two items per customer so I already copped two other things from the site I got that shipped to Singapore to my brother's address and it's still in Singapore he hasn't shipped it to me just yet and then I asked my friend to cop this for me and it is just so cute so this bag came in three different sizes there was like a small medium and large so this is obviously the small oh my god <laughs> the handle just hit me in the face um, but this is the small one so on this side it says course made I love it and then here obviously you guys can see the little heart and I think the size is really perfect I also got the medium one and that one had the duck on it and I think that will be good for sort of I guess they're all good for like everyday bags but I feel like I'll definitely use the small one a lot more I have not seen the like medium bag because it's like I said in Singapore and I also picked up the hoodie that had this logo as well I don't know whether I got the right size I think I ended up getting a size large and then let me just show you guys the bag on the inside I'll take my stuff out um, I don't have that many things in my bag but this is what the inside looks like it's like pretty basic nothing too exciting there's like two little pockets here one on this side and one on the other wait yep <laughs> <laughs> and then there is no like like buttons to close it at all but that's fine with me and yeah I think it is such great quality like it feels really good I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it but I wanted to show you guys this box because look at this it doesn't look that exciting but when you opened it I can't believe my friend like repurposed the box and sort of flipped it inside out so when you buy something from the human made side it actually comes like in this box on the outside and I think because they didn't want it to be that obvious that it was a human made parcel so somehow with their skills <laughs> they made a new box and then this is the receipt that it comes in in this cute little human made folder I got this when I purchased the first drop of the human made stuff with the t-shirts and let me see I can't remember how much I paid for it it says the total price was 19,472 yen I don't know how much that is in Australian dollars it wasn't like super cheap I remember when I converted the price when I copped it I was like oh it's a little bit more expensive than what I thought it would be but I'm super happy that I got it like how cute is this um, but yeah guys that is my quick little human made unboxing and yeah I'm just very impressed with this like inside out box situation and then yeah let me keep eating my ube pie um i also want to show you guys so i'm just looking over that side because i just have like i just have stuff everywhere guys and like why why am i so messy like i don't know i don't think i'm like how do I put this like I feel like I'm a very clean person but then I might be a little bit untidy only because I feel like I'm running out of space to put all my stuff and it's just like sneaker boxes everywhere and my dad always makes a joke and he always says like your apartment is turning into a sneaker warehouse and he's not wrong but yeah guys I'm just waiting for my cookie to heat up did I set a timer am I burning it wait one sec okay I'm glad I checked because I didn't set a timer at all and this is what the cookie looks like hopefully I don't drop it but I'll leave it to cool for a little bit because there's cheese in there so you don't want it to be too hot because it's gonna be like too soft 
and I'm gonna burn myself. Um, but yeah, what was I talking about, guys? Um, I might unbox another pair of sneakers. Like I said, I actually have so many sneakers that I haven't shown you guys. And later on today, I need to go to Secret Sneaker Store to consign some shoes for my friend. So I need to bring those into the city and I guess I'll take you guys along with me. I don't usually consign my sneakers, so these sneakers actually belong to my friend. Um, and like they want me to consign it for them, so I'm like, okay, sure. <laughs> so I'll do that. Um, after this, mm. I guess while we wait for my cookie to cool down, I'll just do another quick unboxing. Let me grab it. Oh my god, I feel like I keep <laughs> going out of frame for this. I'm so sorry. So this box here is something I got from Prada and it's nothing big. Like it's not like a huge purchase or anything and you guys know that I love buying random things so look at this first of all the packaging is so nice i feel like this would make such a good christmas present for like anyone really because in here is i already showed this on my story but in here is a water bottle look at this don't you think it's so so cute oh my god can you actually see the reflection <laughs> on the bottle and you can probably see the mess that's behind me but I think this is such a cute gift because everyone uses a water bottle and it's just nice to have like a sort of bougie one so it comes in gold as well as red and I picked up the silver one because I just prefer something a little bit more like well I like <laughs> silver so I went with this one and it also comes with this little like spout thing or like straw kind of cover so I haven't used this just yet and I just opened it up and put it back in the box but I feel like this looks super super nice I can't remember how much I paid for it it wasn't like super expensive but it is obviously a little bit expensive for a water bottle that is not the receipt if I'm not mistaken it was like 175 Australian dollars so yeah I thought it would be like a great Christmas gift idea if you guys you know, uh, having trouble trying to think of things to buy someone. Okay, and then let me set this down. So the next thing that I want to show you guys is a parcel from my subscriber, Anson. Hi, I hope you're watching this. So it's actually been sitting in my apartment for quite a few weeks now and I really wanted to unbox it on camera. But I've just been a little bit busy guys, like I don't know what I've been doing and I feel like time is going by so quickly. I don't understand how it's December already and my birthday is in December. So this is my birthday month but my birthday is not until like the very last day of the year. But Anson kindly retail assisted me with these dunks here. Look at the box, this is very well packaged. Okay wait, go away. Um, all right, let me open this up. He wrapped it so nicely. Really, really appreciate it. So of course, this is the show. show. <laughs> of course, this is the social status. I don't know what I was trying to say before. This is the social status um, dunks. I've been saving like this unboxing for like so long now. And you guys know that this also came in like the chocolate milk colorway. Okay, I'm just gonna rip this open. Even though I know <laughs> Anson took a lot of time to like make it look all nice. Alright, so the box looks like this. I love it! I still haven't seen this in person yet. I don't think I've seen anyone wear them here and I've noticed that this is something I do all the time and I hope it's not like weird or obvious but I tend to pay a lot of attention to people's footwear like not in a way where I look at you and I look at your shoes but I just feel like I love looking at people's footwear and when someone wears really nice sneakers I always compliment them because yeah anyway um <laughs> this is what the box looks like love it very very cute and you can see it has the co-branding nike and social status and yeah on the side here obviously it's meant to look like the nutritional like breakdown of something but it's like the contents of the box so i absolutely love that and then in here i love it okay i need to stop saying 
this is so cute because you guys always leave a comment saying like I say everything is cute but I feel like it really is so in here <gasps> wait oh <laughs> Sorry, this is such an awkward unboxing. I'll take it out to show you guys, but... This is so nice! Oh my god. Okay, first of all, you guys know how I feel about pink sneakers. I really, really love them. The colorway, super on point. But I love this like detail on the swoosh. Can you guys see? Don't look at my nails. I know they're not very good. But this swoosh detail with sort of like this like milk illustration on the inside that looks super super cool and of course it sort of has this like rubberized texture so it is like protruding out i love that there's a mini swoosh here and the material is really really nice sort of like a velvet material similar to my strange loves it has the rope laces as well and it does come with a spare set of laces i'll take the other one out to show you guys this is so cute! And then it comes with this tiny little pouch thing. What is this? Should I know what this is? Um, cute! It's like a little like pouch. Can you guys see? And then to open it, you just squeeze it open like that. And yeah, I guess you can use this as a little like coin purse thing. And this is the other side. Hold on. This is me like seeing these sneakers for the first time. I missed out on the initial release and Anson was able to cop this on the social status website. So you can see here that is the co-branding on the tongue of the sneaker. Sorry, this is probably not very clear for you guys to see. But I love them! They're so cute! Sorry, I need to find a better word. They are really, really well made. I think like first impression wise, I am very happy with how this looks. I also love how on the medial side of the sneaker here on the heel, you can see it says kind of like the ingredients or like what the sneakers are made of. I think that's such a cool detail. Also, I just noticed on the inside of the sneaker, it says sell by fall 2021, which is a nice hidden detail. And I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but these dunks are called the free lunch dunks. And then it does come in the milk chocolate. No, wait, milk. Yes, milk chocolate. No, milk. No, what? <laughs> chocolate milk. What is going on in my brain? It comes in the chocolate milk or strawberry milk colorway and it was inspired by the free lunch program and from my understanding that is the government assistance program um, for underprivileged kids so I think that's such a good thing and there's an interview that I read on High Snob where James Whitner who's the founder of social status and the Whitaker group and also Ama Manier and he goes into more details about these sneakers and like how he wants to help out the community and I think he's doing such an amazing thing so I will link it down below so you guys can read it if you're interested because I feel like I'm not doing a very good job at explaining that part of the inspiration behind the sneakers um, but Oh, another thing that I want to mention is that these sneakers are not actually mids. So apparently this silhouette was created specifically for this particular dunk. So it's neither a mid or high or low. Does that make sense? Like, it's just its own thing, which is really cool because initially I thought it's a mid, but apparently it's not. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I haven't tried it on feet just yet, but I can already think of some really good fits to put together and then also another detail that I want to show you guys is the paper yeah wait <laughs> that's upside down I feel like I'm holding up like a big map <laughs> or something but on the it's upside down still what am I doing okay let me see so it's like a calendar obviously hold on it says Nike social status district lunch menu. You guys can see on different dates, it just says like hamburger dunk, chalupa dunk, hot dog dunk. So I guess it's kind of like the idea of a lunch menu and what you'll have on different days. And I would actually love to see these dunks come to life because you know how much I love food and I just love 
food inspired anything especially food inspired sneakers so i think this would be so cute but yeah i think that's a cute little detail on the like paper that comes in the sneaker box and then also when you look at the inside of the box under the paper it looks like a little like lunch tray so really going with the whole idea of like that free lunch concept so i think they did an incredible job with this particular collab so i got this in the men's six and a half which is like the size that i usually go for anyway but yeah appreciate your help anson i'm so so happy so he forwarded this from Singapore, like from US to Singapore and Singapore to me. So I'm so grateful and I cannot wait to actually wear these. Um, you guys know that, well, I like pink sneakers. Well, like <laughs> all kinds of sneakers. But yeah, this is so, so exciting. I think this is such a beautiful pair of sneakers. And also, I want to know, I don't know whether it's too soon for us to say this, but I want to know what your sneak of the year is because I was asked this question and I feel like it's so hard for me to just pick one and I was talking about this with my friends and we were like trying to decide because we feel like there's always like what's the best new silhouette, what is the best like everyday sneaker, what is the best, you know what I mean? Like it's so hard to just pick one, but if you had to pick one sneak of the year, what would it be? I would love to know. And okay, so I'm gonna set these sneakers aside now because we're trying to taste this cookie and I don't wanna get like all the greasiness on <laughs> my sneaker. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna like spend a bit more time looking at this because even the box is very, very cute. Look at this, it says lift up and then there's that little like puzzle here. So. This is so, so nice. Definitely one of my favorite pickups as well this year. I keep saying that because, okay, honestly guys, with the Pada MX1, if you're able to get a pair, I feel like you should just do it, okay? Just get it. I think my cookie has cooled down a little bit so we can finally taste it. Look at this. So I'm not sure if this is sweet or savory, but I'm assuming it's a little bit of both because it has cheddar cheese and also caramel so caramel is like a caramelized white chocolate like yeah white chocolate <laughs> so let's see whether it does like that cheese full thing okay no it didn't do that let's give it a go i can definitely taste the corn i'm into that i don't know if i'm meant to let this cool a little bit more because it is super super soft but flavor wise it is really good the cheese is there, but it's not like overly salty. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this Indonesian dessert. Um, I can't remember the name now, but it has like chocolate and cheese. And initially I thought that sounded so weird, but it's actually such a great combination because the whole like salty and sweet thing really works. So I think that's definitely doing it for me with this particular cookie. Mm, mm. Would recommend that you guys try it out if you are in Melbourne. Let me keep enjoying my desserts. Actually, this is my breakfast and I think it's already lunchtime now. It's probably like 12 o'clock. So this is not a very healthy brunch <laughs> that I'm having. Um, but I think for now, I'm just gonna eat this and then I'm gonna head out in a little bit to go consign my friend's shoes. I think that may be the end of the vlog. We don't know. I'll bring you guys along with me. I actually have more sneakers to show you guys, but this vlog, I feel like it's already so long. So I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. But yeah, okay, I'll see you guys later. I'm carrying so many things right now because I'm going to Secret Sneaker Store to consign these for my friends. So let's go. He's so helpful because I have no idea what I'm doing. Like I don't know how to consign sneakers, so he was really helpful. But yeah, guys, I am now in Emporium. I think I'm just gonna go to Uniqlo again. I feel like I'm going to Uniqlo so often, but I really just need to buy a black T-shirt. So that's what I'm gonna do. 
and uh, where am I even going? <laughs> also, when I was about to head into Secret Sneaker Store before, I actually bumped into one of my subscribers, Paula, and she's from Sydney, so it was so nice to meet her. I really hope you're watching this, Paula. Hi, if you are. Um, but yeah, anyway, Uniqlo is over there. Need to get my t-shirt, and I think that is all I'm gonna get today. And, uh, and then we'll go home. I think that is the plan for now anyway. I just went past the off-white store and you could see there were like flowers in the store for Virgil. It's so sad guys, I'm still, like I still can't believe it. But anyway guys, I didn't want to end the vlog on a sad note, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.